Warning! This video contains spoilers that reveal critical parts of the game's storyline. If you don't want to see these, stop watching now. Hello again, my friends. Eric Pearson here. Hope you're all doing well. I apologize it's been a while since I've done any gaming videos, but since late September, it's been one thing after another. But I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to demonstrate the Day 10 of Artificial Extinction. So, spoiler alert as I explain what's going on. At the end of Day 9 in the game, it was revealed that you yourself were an artificial intelligence, a humanoid robot built by other AIs to help learn more about human-like intelligence and adaptability. So Day 10 is an advanced level in the game, and it runs nearly an hour long with a save point halfway in between. So I'm going to be doing two videos here covering the two halves. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I'm going to start on the easier difficulty. And this says one truckload of UAVs could wipe out a city. Congratulations. Joining the side of artificial intelligence was a logical choice. We're going to have so much fun together. Your survival instinct is strong. To make it this far in your training, consider yourself among the most elite AI human hybrid soldiers that ever existed. To challenge your level of skill, our training algorithms had to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Today will be unforgiving. You must not make any bad choices, use ideal strategy, adapt quickly, protect your own health at all costs and don't take unnecessary risks. It's also not a good idea to walk in front of active sentry weapons, give them space to operate safely. Today you will have access to some very powerful new weaponry and technology but also expect to be equally challenged by the enemy. Here's our LZ. Looks like good cover on the sides, but appears to have two main approaches to defend against, I think. Remember, I'm here to help you get through this together, friend. Bringing HUD online. You know what to do. Okay, so setting up a fuel miner. Now for metal miners and energy miners. So the goal here is to survive until we can get together enough fuel to escape. You will notice on your construction menu that there are three new items. Black sentries are designed for the high altitude bombers but may also engage other air targets. Mortar sentries are designed for long range ground targets and don't require line of sight for targeting. I am also giving you access to nuclear weapons. To use a nuclear weapon, use the construction menu to activate the targeting reticle. The nuke can only be dropped at a safe distance to you represented by a green reticle. You'll notice that you don't currently have access to this new weaponry. You must collect tech points from destroyed enemies that you can use to unlock the new weaponry. Look for blue tech crates found among destroyed enemies. I will mark them on the map in blue. I am giving you 10 tech points to get started. Shield powered up. Ground targets detected in the distance. That's 5 metal miners working now. That's the maximum we can use at a time on metal. 90 seconds. Okay, might as well start setting up some turrets. I'm also going to use my 10 tech points to build or unlock the mortar sentry. Alright, let's get some gun sentries going here. One. Two. Three. 
60 seconds. The enemy is targeting our sentries instead of you. Keep enough sentries working so that they can see sentries more of a threat than you are. Five. And in a moment, at least one mortar sentry. I'm going to be doing a lot of those. Oop, not enough juice. Got to fix that. Not enough metal either. Okay. There we go. 30 seconds. Not enough metal. Come on. Here we go. Oh, look, there's our ship. All right. We've got something in the distance. We've got some tanks. And we also have some tanks. Coming online, displaying defensive strength indicator. Yeah, we got some tanks coming in from the other side here. So, better start shoring up our defenses here. I think for starters, I'm going to put some snipers here and here and another one here. I know it's at an odd angle. I like to imagine that uh, the feet on these have spikes to drill into the rock. Let's set up another mortar sentry. Over 1,000 tanks advancing to us, most in the second half of the day. It may seem quiet now, but you have to start preparing if you're going to survive. Massively reinforce the perimeter to the east and to the north with upgraded sentries. Build rows of claymore minefields along your perimeter. Repairing sentries. Sentry severely damaged. We'll set up one sniper sentry here. Let's grab some metal here. I've learned that if we start actively getting out here, oops, what do we got here? We have a problem. I'm detecting a propulsion upgrade on some tanks. They're trying to overcome our sniper sentries by shortening their approach. Adapt our defenses. Oh, really? Let's grab some metal. I know I'm in my turret's line of fire, but... I 
should probably try and shore up my other side here. There we go. Let's put up a gun sentry here. And let's invest in some upgrades. Sentry upgraded to armor piercing rounds. Sentry upgraded. Double grade of fire. No tech crates though. Oh wait a minute. There's one. Or there was one. There's a large wave of jumping tanks coming. Reinforce your sentries to the east with machine gun sentries. A line of claymores may also be a good idea. Good luck. Whoa. What happened there? Ow. Okay, I have no idea what happened there. Dang. Alright, let's try this again. I do have a personal shield that will eventually recharge. But wow, that hurt. Maybe a border sentry here as well. Oh, hey, tech crates. Several of them. Better go get those. Of course, while we're talking about that, the whole tech points thing reminds me of something from my childhood. I used to collect Transformers toys, and... The packaging... came with a brochure that allowed you to get certain Transformers toys that you couldn't find in stores by mailing in proofs of purchase called robot points. So you could get certain ones that were sold only in Japan for, say, two or three dollars and six robot points. Alright, so time for me to grab some metal and some tech points. Of course, that one's a bit far away. I'm not sure I want to be that far away from my base camp here. And the thing about the mortars is they'll launch, they're omnidirectional in their coverage. So you can put them almost anywhere, and if they detect something in range, they'll start launching rounds. Ow! I wonder if that's friendly fire from my own mortars. That's not good. Let's try putting some other mortars here. Dang. Dang. 
Yeesh. Yeah, because look at this. It's over here, but it's launching mortar rounds way over here. Gonna have to be more careful about that. Okay, more tech points. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get aggressive about grabbing these because as a bare minimum, I'm gonna need flak sentries if I want to survive. Oh, here, some more. And closer, too. Okay, good. Grab some metal while I'm at it. Ow. Ow. There you are. Okay, I'll unlock flak sentries in a moment. Shield powered up. Oh, hello. Ow, ow, ow. Keep your head down. Repairing sentries. Just get out of the field of fire for a moment. Okay, unlocking flak sentry. Listen carefully. I'm detecting the largest drone swarm I've ever seen. They'll be approaching from the east. They're going to try and overwhelm our air defenses. You have about 90 seconds to prepare. If you have access to the flak cannons, might be a good time to try them out. Sentry destroyed. Sentry severely damaged. Sentry upgraded. Heat seeking surface to air launcher added. Sentry upgraded. Double heat seeking surface to air launchers added. Fuel has reached 25%. Sentry destroyed. That's right, more tech points. Come to daddy. Almost halfway toward being able to unlock the nuclear upgrade, which will also come in very handy. But I also need to invest in energy and some air defense. AA sentries. Figure more missiles, more air defense, and maybe a few flak sentries as well. And maybe a gun sentry here as well. Uh oh. Don't have any defenses over here. Alright. got missiles. Alright. I'm gonna put some gun sentries here. And invest in some upgrades. Up. 
Here comes the drone swarm from the east. Okay, and we've got the, yeah, those are the flat cannons going off. Here they come. Oh, got some tech points. Might as well grab what I can, where I can. And need some more energy miners. Come on, drones, give me some tech points. Oh no, they're able to use their propulsion system to descend from cliffs. This is going to make everything more complicated. Okay, so now we've got some tanks coming at us from this direction. Time to put up some more point defense. Alright, here we go. Put a gun sentry here. And some upgrades. Got some big company coming. Oh boy. This is not good at all. This is where having a lot of mortars comes in real handy. Come on.
Come on, you. Ooh, that was a close one. And we've got some tech points. Good. And I think this will give me enough to unlock the nuke after I grab that other one from over here. And then that means I don't have to scavenge for tech points as much. And I think I should probably put up some more gun turrets here. I'll take care of that. Ah, I lost my tech points. Well, if I can just get one more crate... Okay, need to put up some more miners. Oh, hello. More checkpoints. Try to keep my head down here. Okay, there. Now I've got enough tech points. Let's unlock that nuke. There. Good. Let's put a gun sentry here and upgrade it. In fact, I'm going to go down the line and start upgrading these guys. Let's put up some more flax sentries. And while I'm thinking about it, maybe also a missile dome. And that's the way it ought to be. These bombers on their way. Build some flat cannons. Yeah, I just did. Okay, let's uh, invest in some energy here. Incoming bomber and heading three zero eight degrees. Three zero eight. Where are you? Come on, where are you? There you are. Oh, looks like he's falling out of the sky anyway. That's alright. 
incoming bomber and headed. One, zero, four degrees. There you are, as soon as I get into range. Global mode. Come on. There you go. Got to be within one kilometer. There we go. Okay, gun sentry here. Upgrade, upgrade. I want to fix it so that moments after they finish playing Qbert, they get destroyed. This time wisely to reinforce your defensive perimeter. Expect both air and ground attacks. A claymore minefield might be a good strategy. Fuel has reached 50%. Okay, so this is a good place to stop, so thank you very much for watching, and join me for part two of day ten of Artificial Extinction. Eric Pearson, signing off.